Imagine a military force so vast, it's almost hard to comprehend. Welcome to the world of North Korea's armed forces. This is a military behemoth that ranks among the largest on the globe, boasting over one million globe, boasting over active duty soldiers. But the might doesn't stop there. Swelling the ranks further, there are millions more in the form of reservists and paramilitary members. In North Korea, the military isn't just a part of the budget, it's a significant chunk of it. The allocation of resources to its armed forces is substantial, reflecting the importance and priority the state places on military might. This isn't just about maintaining a standing army, it's about projecting power and instilling a sense of national pride. Underneath the staggering numbers, however, lies a complex web of realities. The military hardware, while vast, is mostly a relic of the Cold War era. The tanks that rumble through the streets during parades are hulking reminders of a bygone era, and the soldiers, despite their numbers, often grapple with hunger. Yet it would be a mistake to dismiss the potency of North Korea's armed forces. Despite its limitations, the outdated arsenal, the hunger-stricken soldiers, and a leadership that lacks coordination and military experience, the sheer size of this force is enough to pose a significant threat. It's a threat that has prompted nations, particularly the US, to constantly plan for a potential conflict. The reality is that North Korea's military is a paradox. It's a force that is simultaneously powerful and fragile, modern and outdated, revered and feared. It's a military power that, despite its limitations, commands global attention. Now picture a vast arsenal brimming with weapons from a bygone era. This is the reality of North Korea's military might, a force steeped in antiquity, yet possessing a unique set of challenges and threats. North Korea's military technology, for the most part, hails from the Cold War era. Imagine tanks built decades ago artillery pieces that are more at home in a museum than on a battlefield, and fighter jets that would be considered vintage by modern standards. But don't let the rust and dust fool you. These antiquated machines of war, while outdated, are not to be taken lightly. The sheer volume of North Korea's arsenal is a force to be reckoned with. Thousands of tanks, millions of paramilitary members and reservists ready to fight at a moment's notice. The age of their weapons might pose a challenge, but it also brings a certain unpredictability to the table. After all, an old gun can still fire a lethal bullet. The outdated nature of North Korea's arsenal also poses unique challenges for the country's military. Maintenance of these aging machines is a constant struggle. Spare parts are hard to come by and the knowledge to repair them is becoming a lost art. Yet North Korea's military continues to operate, adapting and improvising in the face of these challenges. But it's not all about the old. North Korea has shown a remarkable ability to innovate within its constraints. From developing its own version of the AK-47 to creating a diverse range of ballistic missiles, the country has proven that it can still pack a punch. But let's not forget the elephant in the room, the nuclear capabilities. While the extent of this remains uncertain, the mere possibility adds another layer to the complex tapestry of North Korea's antiquated arsenal. In the world of modern warfare, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. But remember, even a knife in the right hands can be deadly. But there's a wild card in this deck, a nuclear wild card. North Korea's military might is well documented, but what's shrouded in mystery and speculation is its nuclear capabilities. The Hermit Kingdom isn't exactly forthcoming about the extent of its nuclear arsenal, making it a topic of intense speculation and concern. While we know that North Korea has nuclear weapons, the exact number is a closely guarded secret. Some estimates suggest they have enough fissile material to create somewhere between 20 to 60 nuclear warheads. But the question remains, how advanced are these weapons? North Korea has conducted several nuclear tests over the years, each more powerful than the last. The most recent test, back in 2017, was estimated to be 10 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It's clear that North Korea's nuclear technology has been advancing, but the extent of this advancement remains a closely guarded secret. What's even more concerning is the possibility of miniaturized, man-portable nuclear weapons. In 2013, concerns arose over North Korea's potential to possess these compact weapons of mass destruction. 
Miniaturized nuclear weapons can be carried by a single soldier, making them a terrifying prospect on the battlefield. But the extent of North Korea's capabilities in this area is still uncertain. Despite the uncertainty, one thing is clear. North Korea's nuclear capabilities pose a significant threat. Their progression from rudimentary nuclear devices to potentially miniaturized weapons is a cause for global concern. This isn't just about the size of their military or the number of their tanks. It's about the potential for destruction on a scale we've never seen before. In the high-stakes game of global power, North Korea's nuclear capabilities are a wild card that can't be ignored. The world watches, waits and speculates, but the true extent of the North Korean nuclear enigma remains a mystery. In this global chess game, every move counts. The world watches, every breath held, as the strategic dynamics between North Korea, the United States and South Korea play out on the global stage. It's a dance of power, with each nation meticulously calculating their steps, anticipating the other's next move. Now, let's focus on the United States strategy. A plan known as OPLAN 5027, a testament to the constant vigilance and preparedness on the part of the United States and its ally, South Korea. The plan's objective? To repel a North Korean invasion before it can reach the heart of Seoul. It's a strategy that has been revised multiple times, evolving with the ever-changing landscape of global politics and military technology. During the Bush years, the focus shifted towards offensive warfare, a clear indicator of the growing concerns about North Korea's expanding military prowess. But O-Plan 5027 is more than just a battle plan. It's a comprehensive approach that takes into account the North's nuclear, biological and cyber capabilities while ensuring the protection of Seoul and its inhabitants. But what makes this plan particularly intriguing is its adaptability. In 2013, the whispers of North Korea possessing miniaturized, man-portable nuclear weapons sent a shiver down the global spine. The extent of this capability remains uncertain but it was enough to prompt a review and revision of OPLAN 5027. The North Korean military might be hungry, its arsenal outdated and its leadership inexperienced, but it's the unpredictability that keeps the world on its toes. Despite its limitations, the North Korean military still poses a significant threat, prompting constant vigilance and strategic planning from the US and its allies. In this delicate dance of global politics, one misstep could have dire consequences. So we watch, we wait, and we strategize, because in this global chess game, every move counts. So what have we learned about the intriguing world of North Korea's military? Well, for starters, it's enormous. We're talking about over a million active duty soldiers, countless reservists and paramilitary members, and thousands of tanks. This is a military force that, despite its limitations, can't be ignored on the global stage. Their arsenal, however, hails from another era. The majority of their weapons are remnants from the Cold War, relics from a time long past. But don't be fooled, these antiquated weapons, while they might not be the most advanced, still pose a significant threat. And then there's the nuclear enigma. North Korea's nuclear capabilities are shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. Yes, we know they have nuclear weapons, but the extent of their power and sophistication remains a question. Rumors of miniaturized, man-portable nuclear weapons surfaced in 2013, adding another layer to this complex puzzle. Lastly, we delved into the global strategic dynamics at play. The United States, in particular, has had to constantly plan for the possibility of conflict with North Korea. The US strategy, known as OPLAN 5027, aims to repel a North Korean invasion in collaboration with South Korea, all while ensuring the protection of Seoul. North Korea's military might be a paradox of colossal scale and outdated tech, but it's a force that can't be underestimated. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, Please take a moment to subscribe to Tales of the Unexpected to stay updated with our latest content. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and leave us a comment below with your thoughts or any stories you'd like to share. Your feedback means the world to us.
As a special treat for you, we've got two more exciting videos queued up for your entertainment. Simply click on the links below to dive right into more captivating stories and unexpected twists.